we'll meet one of the Twin Cities' most popular chefs. She's Lian Chin, known throughout this area for her delicious Chinese cuisine. Good afternoon and welcome to Pia Magazine. I'm Steve Doyle. And I'm Pat Brown. And this afternoon, Steve and I are visiting the new International Center in downtown Minneapolis, home of the newest Lian Chin Chinese cuisine restaurant. In fact, we'll be speaking with Lian a little bit later on in the Indeed show. Indeed, we will. When Lian Chin came to America from her native China, she knew no English, but was a talented seamstress and an even better cook. Today, there are now three Lian Chin restaurants, and she's known throughout the country for her Chinese cuisine. Join us now as we discover more about her fascinating life story and also learn some of her secrets to Chinese cooking. When she came to the United States some 30 years ago, Lian Chin spoke no English, was a mother of five children, and a woman of few choices. Today, she is the Twin Cities' most popular Chinese chef, the owner of two elegant restaurants, and purveyor of Chinese culinary skills she inherited from her father. My father uh, owned a restaurant in Canton, China. And when we had dinner, it's just not eating dinner, he's literally all the time of growing up, not any, not just eating. What are you eating? What's healthy? And what's a uh, uh, person to eat? Here in America, to help make ends meet, Leanne began in her home a small but successful business as a seamstress. When I was sewing, I entertained my customers and uh, have dinner for them and and I was cooking when they come, and I always give recipes and show them how to uh, cook Chinese food. So this suggests I should teach cooking. At first, and I said, oh, I don't know if I, I could. But, and they said, well, OK, start with us. Good morning, ladies. I'm going to show you how to stir fry today. Leanne began to give private lessons and soon was teaching 10 classes a week. We're going to have some shrimp. The shrimp is shelled it and wash and dry always keep it nice and dry and the vegetable is wash and dry and sliced at home and through the creative learning center in edina leanne would teach some 5,000 students the fine but relatively simple art of chinese cooking Leanne's reputation as a Chinese cooking instructor and caterer spread. And to handle the increased business and to pay for the expensive kitchen equipment, she has opened two beautiful contemporary Chinese restaurants, the first in Bonaventure and now here in St. Paul's Union Depot. Unlike other Chinese restaurants, Leanne schools her chefs personally in her philosophies and methods. Very good. Please put a little flour in there. She draws up the menus herself, as well as the products to buy, and wherever possible, inspects the finished food. And I think the next, next batch, you have to make quite a bit more. It's getting busier. Sharing the secrets of her cuisine that have made her, thanks to the General Mills Betty Crocker cookbook series, a nationally acclaimed chef. Well, it's recipe time, and Leanne is going to show me one of the specialties of the house. What is it, Leanne? Shrimp toast. Shrimp toast, okay. And the recipe I learned I was in China. Good, and the ingredients are fairly simple. We need some bread, some shrimp, sesame oil, some chopped scallions, flour, cornstarch, one egg, and some salt and pepper. First thing you have to do is cut the cloth off the bread. Okay. And cut into a quarter. Watch your fingers. <laughs> Oh, what next? Next, you have to slice the shrimp. Before you slice them, this has been washed and dry. Mm -hmm. No water at all. All right, Liam, we have all the shrimp chopped. Now what? Okay, you add all the ingredients, all mixed together. Okay. When all the ingredients are added, mix them together. So that's mixed up well enough? Yep. Then, on each quarter of bread, place two or three pieces of shrimp, just so. Done. The oil has been heated for about 350 degrees. It put them in, it takes about a minute until golden brown. And you turn them over and flip them a couple of times. After about a minute, or when golden brown, remove from the oil and drain on a paper towel. And here we are, shrimp toast in just uh, two to three minutes. Time for a taste test. Delicious. Very good, very easy. Thank you. 
By the way, if you'd like that shrimp toast recipe that Leanne just shared with us, please send a stamped self-addressed envelope to Pia Magazine in care of Leanne Chin, 90 South 11th Street, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Our zip is 55403. That's all the time we have on this Tuesday Pia Magazine. Hope you join us tomorrow. We'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye. Good night. Stay tuned for the 5 p.m. report here on Channel 4.